Hello, I'm Tom Lee, and this is my series, Stories and Art, where I tell traditional stories and pair them up with artwork from museums around the world. Today I want to tell you an English folktale, and I'm going to show you a painting that's currently in the Yale Center for British Art in New Haven, Connecticut. The painting is called Peeling Potatoes, and it was painted about 140 years ago by a man named Frank Hall. And he loved to paint pictures of people going about their daily life. Often he painted people who were hardworking and probably didn't have too much money. And when I look at a picture with students, of course I always ask them to make a sketch, make a drawing. So you can print this picture out if you go to my website, www.tomleesstoryteller.net or you can find it at the Yale Center for British Arts website uh, www.britishart.yale.edu In any case, it's fun to take a look at the picture in as much detail as you can. Mr. Hall has given us a lot of clues about this woman's life. What do you notice when you look at the picture? I see the teapot by the table. I see a pile of potatoes, and she's even peeling one in her hands. She has a cradle there. She probably has at least one child, if not many. One of my favorite details about this picture is the fireplace. I love to think about how important the fireplace was in people's houses long ago. It wasn't just to keep your house warm, of course. It was where all your meals were cooked and probably where the family got together. And one of the things they did next to the fireplace was tell stories. And now I want to tell you the story, Master of All Masters, which has a fireplace in it. Once upon a time, a young woman went to work in a house of a rather strange gentleman. She was a very good worker and she wanted to do whatever she could to please him, but he told her that he had unusual words for everything in his house. If you're going to work for me, he said, you're going to have to learn these special words. Well, this girl was clever and she said, very well, sir, I will do whatever you say. He said, first of all, what will you call me? She said, I'll call you sir or boss or whatever you please. He said, no, 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 no. You must call me master of all masters. Master of all masters? She said, very well, so I shall. And uh, my dear, every morning you're going to have to make this. And he pointed to his bed. What will you call this? She said, well, I'll call it your bed or your mattress or whatever you please. No, he said, no, no, this is my barnacle and you must always call it a barnacle. Master of all masters, barnacle, very well, said the girl, I'll, I'll do my best to remember. Then he pointed to his trousers and he said, what will you call these, my dear? She said, uh, well, trousers or, or pants or whatever you please. No, he said, no, these are my squibs and crackers, and that's what you must call them. Squibs and crackers, master of all masters, barnacle, very well, she said. I'll try to remember. Well, next he pointed to the fire that was crackling away in the fireplace. And he said, what will you call this, my dear? She said, a fire or flame or whatever you please. No, no, he said, no, no. This is hot cockalorum, and hot cockalorum you must call it. Very well, she said, I'll try to remember. Now, next to the fire was a bucket of water. And he said, what will you call this, my dear? She said, uh, water or wet or whatever you please. No, no, he said, no, no. Pondalorum it is called, and so you must always call it. 
Very well, she said. I'll try to remember. The cat came walking by next. Ah, what will you call my pet? said the man. A uh, cat, or a, a kitten, or whatever you please. No, 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 no. White-faced simony, she is called. White-faced simony, hot cockalorum, pondalorum, very well, I'll try to remember. He took her outside and he pointed to the whole house. What will you call this, my dear? Well, it's a house, or a home, or whatever you please. No, 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 no. High Topper Mountain, it is called. High Topper Mountain, Scribs and Crackers, Barnacle. Very well, I'll try to remember. Well, that very night, guess what happened? The cat went walking by the fire, and a little bit of spark got onto the cat's tail. And the cat ran around the room, and the whole room began to burn. Luckily, the girl smelled the fire. She ran downstairs. She saw what was happening, and she went to her master, and she said, Sir, sir, get out of your bed. The cat has fire on her tail. If you don't get water to put it out, the whole house will burn down. What's that? said the man. What are you talking about? I don't understand you. Sir, get out of your bed. Put on your trousers. The cat has fire on her tail. If you don't get water to put it out, the whole house will burn down. I don't know what you're talking about, said the man. Oh, for goodness sake, said the girl. Master of all masters, get out of your barnacle and put on your squibs and crackers. White-faced simony has hot cockalorum on her tail, and if you don't get some pondalorum to put it out, High Topper Mountain will all be on hot cockalorum. And that's exactly what he did. And that's all. That little story comes from a book called English Fairy Tales. And these are stories that were collected in England by a man named Joseph Jacobs. And he wrote this book in 1890, right about the same time that Frank Hall painted the painting Peeling Potatoes. So I hope you can come to the Yale Center for British Art and see the painting once the museum has reopened. In the meantime, I'd love to hear from you. Drop me a note at www.tomleestoryteller.net. Let me know what you think about the painting. Maybe you'll send me your sketch of the drawing or your sketch of the story. I'd love to see them. Until next time, when we have another story and another painting, I'm Tom Lee. Thanks for joining me.